So guys, how are you doing this afternoon? We're doing fine, Cyber. We went to the mall with Fumiko and Jane to go on the shopping spree to gen new clothes from modeling. Amanda and Stacy Mathis at the center of the mall hang out with each other and talking some positive stuff about we go on the beach with Lindsay and the others at some time now. That's nice, am I young? So how about you, Kyoko? Everything went well. All of us are fine, Cyber. We had a great time with Saburo at the Hot Topic to get some of the Hello Kitty stuff for me while Saburo goes on the shopping for his new wallet chain and the other stuff as well. We also went to Five Below. These two girls met us for the first time that we became friends together to spend time with the other friends just a little bit. I'm so happy that we have our new members. Wasn't that exciting, Cyber? That's nice when you guys are together with Saburo. Anyways, how are you girls feel when you girls met Kyoko at Five Below? And we also have you as our new members of our crew as well. It feels great that you have us as our new members. And we all take the liberty to help you guys protect and save the innocent people and mild troublemakers in case the cyberpunk wave madness squad and the fiery dark wave lunatic warriors will cause more harm to people and mild troublemakers. And we'll take them to the safe place until we put them into their place when we have the opportunity to fight them off until everything is cleared off and the city will be at peace. Me too. We've been looking forward to have us on our team as well as helping people and mild troublemakers once we save the entire land of Katakana City. I can concur that to you as well Kotina and Araminta. Let's hope that nothing will ever happen that the Cyberpunk Wave Madness Squad and the Fiery Dark Wave Lunatic Warriors if they ever happen that they'll go after Sarah after she heals Lindsay's injuries and a third degree burn while she's in the hospital for two in the half months. If they happen that the Cyberpunk Wave Madness Squad and the Fiery Dark Wave Lunatic Warriors are planning to kidnap Lindsay's friends, we'll be there to stop and rescue them as well. Wait, who is Sarah the Ninjago and Harry Potter fan 2K7 and her teammates? Even though we never met them before. Well, Sarah is the leader of the group known as the Sarah Squad and the Wonder Colts as well. Seven months ago. The Sarah Squad had recently moved out of the Golden Alliance's Mary Sue's city to Katakana City while Cyber, Sapphire and Matthew have also moved out of Waikiki City as well while they have no personality traits afterwards. We wouldn't blame them either, Kenta. After all, we also left the Mary Sue's city as well. Not to mention that the Spies of Heroes and the Golden Alliance are a bunch of Mary Sue's that never had no heroic flaws. And the worst part, Lindsay was tortured and got burned up completely by Nora and Garnet with their lightning powers and she was hospitalized for two and a half months causing TJ to go into a state of depression. And it's a good thing that Lindsay has given Nora a payback by posting a fat picture out of two fiery darkwave lunatic warriors members Nora and Okiku after they gave Lindsay a swirly. And the worst part, these members of the cyberpunk wave madness squad members Chaz, Wallace, Garnet and Akiko Fat shamed Lindsay after Akiku posted on social media causing her to cry so hard. Oh my, that's terrible. We're all glad that Lindsay was recovered from a coma after two and a half months in a hospital. We'll be looking forward to meet Sarah and the Wonder Colts in the future. Me too. I can't wait to meet them in common. That's great, Araminta and Katana. You will get to know the Sarah Squad and the Wonder Colts when we get the chance to visit Sarah next to our mansion. So Leader Cyber, how is your fun going along with Sapphire? Well, everything is going very well, Kenta. Me and Sapphire are on the fun date eating out at the Hibachi place afterwards. As we got here in the perfect time, it will be great to have Lindsay and TJ did make it in common after we turned the three Darkness Madness Devils members into motor cars and have them sold to the game show. We also talk about the positive thing about the moment we went surfing and other fun stuff such as looking up funny videos on YouTube and TikTok as well. Wow, the Hibachi place? Nice. That's a perfect restaurant that you guys went together with Lindsay and TJ, we've never been there before. We also went to the park near the beach. We had the most romantic moment of our lives when we spent some time together with Cyber. 
We watch the crescent moon and the sky as it's all purple at night as it gets any better without the cyberpunk wave madness squad and the fiery dark wave lunatic warriors ruin our moment, especially Garnet Phillips and Nori Remington. I love to hang out with my very special lovely boyfriend Cyber. Wow. I love the way that you two are having fun together and we saw you and Cyber are having the sweetest moment while Saburo, Kenta, Jiyuta, Matthew and I are at the oceanfront park. You two are becoming a great couple. Aw, you're sweet to the both of us, Catelyn. Thank you so much. No problem you two. Glad you guys are having a great time on a date without any vile troublemakers causing more harm and danger to people. Speaking of trouble and danger, I was skating at the mansion near the inlet all alone. I overheard a psychopathic girl named Signe and the leader of the villainous group named Jared and the others saying that they're gonna go after Cyber's girlfriend Sapphire. That's what Odavio had told me about the villainous group spy in the name of the Dark Crimson Vipers gang. That's why I have to warn you that they're gonna kidnap and kill her for their amusement. Um, what are you talking about, Judah? Why are you so shocked? Is it about the Cyberpunk Wave Madness Squad and the Fiery Dark Wave Lunatic Warriors? Not just that Sapphire, but what I meant to say is, is that the Dark Crimson Vipers gang are planning to go after you to find the location which is the mansion, is where we are next to the Wonder Cult's mansion, because they have a tracking device that you guys might want to know all about it. Wait, are you serious? Well, this is not gonna be good for Sapphire Hamada. Those evil organizations are planning to go after her to find her as soon as possible. I know for the fact, they're much worse than the darkness madness devils when they kidnap, hurting people and terrorize more innocents and not so innocent which is of course the mild troublemakers around the land of Vion City while they still can. Wait just a second. Are you saying that the Dark Crimson Vipers gang are gonna find Sapphire and go after her while they still can in Katakana City after Amanda's boyfriend Troy got targeted and beaten senseless by Sydney? Well Matthew, in case you didn't know about the Dark Crimson Vipers gang, they have the tracking devices on their tablets to search everywhere in the city to track her down. But to cut it short, they are the rivals of Otavio's group called themselves the Supreme Purple Storms gang. Interesting. Even though I never heard about Otavio and the Supreme Purple Storms gang before. Perhaps you'll meet Otavio and his crew in person someday in common when we have the opportunity to have us to keep our hopes up to defend people from an evil organizations like the Dark Crimson Vipers gang. So Cyber, are we ready to defend Sapphire from Sydney and the other villainous groups as our objective? As a matter of fact, I do Kenta and the others will be there to protect Sapphire from Sydney and a vile group of criminals no matter what. We will keep Sapphire safe from those psychopathic monsters after they have the audacity to target my sweet girlfriend Sapphire. Not this time. I won't fall into a state of depression. Not ever. Guys, our objective is to keep Sapphire safe from those vile psychopathic monsters the Dark Crimson Vipers gang. If Sapphire gets kidnapped by Sydney, we all have to be there to rescue Sapphire before she gets killed, whether we're alone or not. We cannot let them hurt her. Um, guys. I have a bad feeling about the Dark Crimson Vipers gang are planning to go after me, and what's worse, they'll kidnap me and kill me in a very brutal way. Well, I'm not scared of them, at least I have the ice bombs to blast Sydney unconscious and freeze Jareth in just a short second, and I am a very sensitive girl with a greater personality. Even though we never encounter them in person, they're just much worse than the Darkness Madness Devils, the Reapers, Storms, Bianca, and the Strikers as they done a lot of horrible things to people and terrorizing them for far too long. Don't worry sweetheart, we'll always be there to protect you no matter what. There's nothing that Sydney can't take you away from us and Otavio and his crew will be there as soon as they get the chance to. I won't be fallen into a state of depression. We'll get the Dark Crimson Vipers gang after what makes they have the audacity to target you. Wow. That was very sweet when you guys are protecting me from the vile troublemakers like the Dark Crimson Vipers gang. Thank you so much Cyber. No problem sweetheart. If they ever are gonna find you to kidnap you, we'll be ready. Excuse me guys, now I have to work alone. This will be very irritant to me, I can't waste any more time with all of those rookies like you. I won't be there to protect Sapphire for a while. I'm just letting you guys know. See ya. Come on Sab, 
you can't just go alone dressing up like some kind of vigilante showboat like it's Halloween every night, risking the danger that Sapphire is getting kidnapped. So what? What you expect from another rookies to defend Cyber's girlfriend, the Dark Knight character was the only guy that has to pick up a slack. Guess what, crime never took a break. I'll tell you something what the objective is Sab, you're supposed to follow Cyber's order. Oh, how smart are you? You've been trained enough for 30 minutes, and now you're schooling us on Cyber's master plan. Okay. So this is my fault now huh Sab? I'm the only one that has to be responsible? Hey, you're the co-leader while Cyber is the well-trained master, not me. Hey guys, let's just not argue over this and get the long will ya. Yeah dudes, can it? We're not gonna make this night going into haywire and get a little crazy over it. Oh well. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay so bro, we'll see you in the morning. So guys, what's our new plan for tomorrow? I'll tell you later, Juyuta. Now let's have our night and think about the positive thing for now.